Welcome back, everybody, for some more The Normans in AoE 4. So, last time we had our first, like, actual scenario with uh, York in 1069, but now we're going all the way to 1105 with Bayeux. And in Normandy, William the Conqueror's sons ignited a bitter feud over control of their empire. William the Conqueror had recaptured oh, audio. the rebels. Now he wanted to teach them a lesson for defying him. He began a brutal campaign of destruction to crush any further resistance, known as the harrying of the North. Villages and crops were destroyed. It is said a hundred thousand people were killed. With ruthless efficiency, William the Conqueror had secured obedience in his new kingdom. But it wasn't to last. It would be thrown into chaos by his own children. When William the Conqueror died in 1087, his favorite son succeeded him. King William II, known as William Rufus. But 13 years into his reign, disaster struck. While out hunting, he was killed. William's youngest brother took his place as King Henry I. But there was a problem. At the time, Henry's elder brother, Robert, Duke of Normandy, had been on crusade. When he returned, he was furious that Henry had grabbed the throne. From Normandy, Robert attempted to invade England to claim the crown from his brother. But he failed and returned home. In retaliation, Henry struck back. In a reversal of 1066, he crossed the Channel and invaded Normandy, intent on undermining his brother Robert's rule. His first target was Bayer. This rich and splendid city was one of the jewels of Normandy. Henry was to begin his campaign by unleashing his forces on the city. Bayer was about to feel the wrath of the English army. Oh, man. So we're going to make the audio a little bit louder as far as the gameplay goes. Still messing around with these AEB4 settings, but... Uh, I'm sure it'll it'll get right by at least the last campaign video. Gameplay tip: long Longbowmen can deploy pilings. Can we actually use longbowmen now? Because even though we are essentially the Normans, we're playing as the English, I guess. Still have that big old spear. Normandy. In the brotherly feud over Normandy, King Henry I set out to make an example of Bayeux, a town still loyal to his brother Duke Robert. Henry's archers took up position on high ground outside the city and faced an immediate attack by Robert's cavalry patrol. What noobs! Henry's archers were well protected against the cavalry charge. They defeated the first patrol. Uh, okay. Up. Oh, uh, use the palings. Up. Oh, I set them up in the wrong position, didn't I? Maybe I can like retreat to the other side. <laughs> Wait. Where's, uh, Henry? Okay, so his ability increases armor. Yeah, these guys are French. 
Oh, the French. Whoa, okay. Weird little bit of lag, but reinforcements have arrived. More reinforcements arrived to join his army. Ah! Uh, I hope we're okay. Spearman out in front, please. Got 58 archers. Oh, they're longbowmen, too. Go get them. Wait, no, don't attack farms. Oh, they gain increased vision from elevation. I thought they did, I didn't get anything. Oh, still, inc increased vision isn't as good as extra damage like an AoE 2. How much extra bonus damage? They get plus 8 damage versus cavalry, which isn't really as much as an AoE 2. They needed armadillo power. Oh, I was close. The forest village. These guys have lots of horsey men. Thirteen armor. That is quite a lot. Well, I mean, I have so many longbow. I have 56 longbowmen, man. Neom. Oh, well, sorry, little house. What? Oh. How does this do? 30 damage is... That's a lot, man. We're only 15... Uh, 1,500 HP on the, the outpost. Be careful about boars in AoE 4, guys. They got 4-4 four, four armor and 15 attack. They also have 2,000 food. Wait. My units can't swim. Ah, oh, there's a bridge. No, don't attack the lumber camp. Okay, let's put down these, like, pilings. What did they actually do again? They're stunned and take 25 damage. Um, I guess we're doing all right. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, wait. Military tent. I thought we had more units. Go get up. 11 damage. Still learning all of the, uh, you know, the stats and stuff. These guys are the archers on the tower. Or wall. I know what buildings are. I promise. Let's just not deal with that. Best strategy in AoE and best strategy in life. If there's something that's an issue, just don't deal with it. You can never go wrong. Okay, let's get ourselves some extra armor. Oh yeah, that's the revive leader thingy. Oh, longbowmen um, can create rams too. Go get him. 
Yay. Oh, we are in the feudal age already. We have no resources, though. Ah. Called for the services. What, you mean, uh, forced? Okay, let's get ourselves a blacksmith then. Uh, don't have that much space. Get ourselves our English full work going. Okay, we have a stable here. Just a little plus. I guess the plus thing just means that they're working faster. Henry's presence on the doorstep of Bayeux would not go unanswered, and now his forces brace for an attack by Robert's army. Well, I suppose that is to be expected. Anyway, let's get the, um, let's get a barracks. Hey, what's that? Oh, that's a blacksmith I never actually started building. Of course. But yeah, we still have lots of longbowmen left, so let's invest into um. Yep, let's get those pilings down. And maybe some extra defense. <laughs> oh wow. Okay, when those things are combined, it's pretty OP. Henry repelled the attack, but he knew that so long as Bayer still stood, the city would not give up the fight. So wait, King Henry knew that so long as the enemy was still fighting. With a blacksmith on hand, he would keep they would keep fighting would soon be ready to construct siege equipment oh I guess that's the whole thing that they're trying to show you uh, okay so siege engineers does cost gold unlike an aoe2 where it gives your siege units extra attack this allows your infantry to build siege weapons. We uh, did that in the last scenario, if I'm sure some of you hopefully recall. You know what? You're a jerk. No one likes you. Let's get another barracks. Oh, uh, if I only had my hotkeys. I'm not a big fan of, like, all of these techs costing gold. I like how in AoE 2, like, food and wood are fundamentally different resources than gold and stone in that you can build your economy with just food and wood, and then a little stone for town centers. Like, all the eco upgrades cost either only food or food and wood. You know, for a generic sieve. But here it's like everything costs, uh, was it food and gold, or just gold. Uh, arsenal. What? Oh, shut up. Stupid building. I guess I could take from these deer, but uh, I'm too lazy. Okay, so siege showers work like they do in AoE too. Henry's infantry could now construct battering rams. Oh, they only cost wood. Designed to break open fortress walls. Oh, okay. Well, let's get some more armor. Whoa, 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 whoa. With the power of OP abilities! Yeah, 
Yaru to work. Um, yeah, that one. But no, Rams. I guess I could be like scouting the map more. That would be the smart thing to do. But I mean, Bayou is like right here. Maybe I could send a longbow in this way. Let's go get him. Let's also get some uh, uh, ranges. At least a couple. Wait, so... Oh, okay, so the blacksmith does, like, attack upgrades and the arsenal does defense upgrades? Is that what I'm getting? Um... Breach the walls! I mean, these rams are pretty tough. They have 900 HP. And Henry's men would now storm the city. Robert's garrison made a last stand to defend Bayer. But Henry would show no mercy. Oh, wait, is this loot? Give me that loot. Uh, I guess let's make some, um, uh, some men-at-arms. Uh, can we not go at attack, please? Guess you have to go after you. I really need more production buildings. Why is it so hard to attack this stuff? Oh my god, why are you stuck? Okay, well, attack something! <laughs> I don't care what! There really doesn't seem like there's that much to this map, though. Uh, can't get to Castle Age yet. Get some more Ramros. Oh, we're supposed to construct three Rams. Well, we're getting four. Gotta do them one better. Is there, like, anything else going on here? What? Why are we... It's so jarring. Ah! Well, we already did that. <laughs> okay, so long as we can uh, get through now. Oh, we actually have to destroy all like all the buildings and whatever. I have so much gold. Need to learn how to balance my eco better in this game. Unfortunately, I am still big noob. But then again, so is everyone else. So I guess I guess it's all right. Was there something over here? We have to, like, chop through Easter eggs. Oh, I, I guess you can get back, Henry. Sure. Uh, 
Yeah, let's get another one. Chamber of Commerce. Well, I guess we're out of gold. Getting there, I guess. I reckon. At least they're, I guess, massing up units before attacking instead of, you know, like trickling them in one by one. That, that's something. Let's get another one. Yeah, show that house who's boss. Oh, there's a town center. I don't need houses. Oh, whoops, stop building that. Good to see that uh, they're maintaining the AoE tradition of having rams be very clunky. The Red Palace! Bunch of commies. Also, they are literally the red player. I hope this isn't one of those things where it's like you're always playing in blue and there's like one enemy. And they're always red like they did in AoE 2, or AoE, uh, AoE 3 and AOM. There we go. I like how AB2 had, like, you know, you had a bunch of different factions, you played as different colors, you know, it gave each of the campaigns a little more flavor. So I hope that we're doing that in, uh, as we get more in-depth. What? I have to hold delete. Whatever. Just do stuff. Oh, am I actually running out of rams? Uh, should be able to market. A lot of gold. I guess I don't have any more gold income, right? But there's like nothing else on the map. I guess we didn't explore much that way. Estrella, I don't know. Yep, still going. That poor villager. I guess those things shoot a lot of arrows very quickly. It's like we start right next to them. More rams. By the way, I think you can only get battering rams in this game. I don't think you can get like siege rams and stuff. Oh, whatever. He's not important, he's just the king. Notre Dame? What are you doing in Baya? <laughs> I thought you were in Paris. I've been to you. You were definitely in Paris. Let's get going. Uh, I gotta be a little bit careful. Hmm. 
Well, this is a bit awkward. Yeah, show moves boss. Go get him. I mean, there, I guess there are a lot of them. I don't know, let's just build a mill over here. They'll take like, I don't know, six villagers. Go over that way. Well, I guess we gotta fall back a little bit. I feel like our army composition is the way to go. Because they do train a bunch of... Well, I guess maybe we could add in some horsemen. But horsemen aren't very good against archers. Um, Like, in mass like that. Because they only have zero armor. <laughs> they live literally zero armor. Well, I guess we have to uh, send another wave in. What? This does feel pretty grindy, to be honest. Yeah, see, we only have 1-1 one, one armor. Wait, we can click stuff through the Fog of War? I guess it just dissipates or whatever. Yeah, this is not a very tanky unit. For instance, uh, for a comparison, the men-at-arms have 4-4 four, four armor. And we're out of gold now. Yep, there's a bunch of spearmen. Uh, let's see, where's our market? That's an arsenal. Well, we've almost killed enough of Bayo's defenders. <laughs> Just had to fall back a second. Still not there. There we go. As Bayo burned and the people fled in terror, King Henry basked in the victory over his brother Duke Robert. But Henry would not stop until all of Normandy was back under the English crown. Or the Norman crown. You know, depending. Victoire! Well, that was uh, the fall of Bayeux. Uh, Bayeux fell to ash at, the king, at King Henry's hands. For those still loyal to his brother, a terrifying example had been set. So that was going to be it for that one, and next the uh, it's actually going to be the the very next year is going to be at eleven oh six in Tinchbray. Tinchbray. 
yeah, see you guys next time for that one.